Action potential is transmitted along the axon into the synaptic knob. This wave of depolarization causes the calcium membrane channels to open and in turn causes the synaptic vesicle to move down and fuse with the cell membrane, releasing acetylcholine into the synapse. Acetylcholine attaches to its receptors on the motor end plate. This opens the channels and releases sodium into the cell. This causes another action potential which travels down the sarcolemma. After this depolarization, acetylcholine is broken down by acetylcholine esterase, so another muscle action potential does not occur. When the action potential reaches the T tubules, it releases calcium from the terminal cisterni of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, where it is held by the calcium. The calcium ions bind to the troponin on the thin filament, pulling the tropomyosin off the active site. High energy myosin head leads to the active site on the thin filament. The head swivels down to the low energy state and breaks off ADP and causes the thin filaments to slide over the thick filaments. ATP molecules attached to the myosin freeing the head of the actin. The ATP molecules attach to the myosin freeing the head of the actin. Then the ATP is converted back to ADP. Calcium is then pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum, allowing the tripomyosin to recover the active site, resulting in relaxation. The dark green straw is the fascicle, which is a bundle of muscle cells. The light green straw is the myofiber, and the toothpick is the myofibril, which is made up of the thick and thin filaments and is the con contractile organelle of the skeletal muscle. This is a sarcomere. The sarcomere is made up of thick and thin filaments and is the unit of striated muscles that contract. It extends from one C disc to the next C disc and it is made up of dark and light bands. The A band are the length of the thin, thick filaments and the I bands are the length of the thin filaments. The H zone is the center of the A band where thick filaments are found.